Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a very requested video. I posted a photo on my Instagram of this uh, very winged out black smoky eye. I got so many DMs and comments saying, please do this look on your channel. I wanna know how you did it. So that's what we're doing today. It's not 100% exactly the same in that photo. Um, it did come out a little bit different. It's a little more warm than what I had in the photo, but that day I was just playing with makeup and I was just kind of like going with the flow. And so today I did it a little bit different, but the technique and everything is the same. I feel like these can be a little bit intimidating. They're intimidating for me. I feel like whenever I go into a black smoky, I'm like, okay, let's breathe, let's get through this. But I've got some tips that I think may be helpful for some of you and it's really not that hard, I promise. And the less perfect, the better. So if you want to, you can grab your makeup, grab your black eye pencils, eyeliners, a good matte eyeshadow palette with some blacks and browns and grays. Um, whatever you have in your makeup bag, pull those out. You can do your makeup with me. If you don't want to do your makeup, if you're not feeling the black smoky eye, that's totally fine. Grab a drink, grab a snack, sit back, relax, enjoy yourselves, and just take this time to shut out all the noise that's going on in your life and just take some time for yourself. So I hope that this video is helpful and relaxing for you. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Cheers. All right, so I'm not gonna do my entire face of makeup before my eyes, but I am gonna apply a little bit of foundation. I just find that when doing a rich, smoky eye like this, just having a little layer of foundation is nice because you can help kind of clean up the eye look and it is quite, it, it does have some shape to it. So I don't know, in my mind, I feel like just a little bit of foundation on the skin kind of helps with shaping the eye look. You can of course do this in whatever order you want. Um, but today I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty Foundation. This is not the foundation that I used that day for that photo, but um, I just kind of want to switch it up a bit. The main focus is going to be the eyes, not really the skin. I'm just gonna blend it out with a damp sponge. So I am going to be using all the same products for my eyes that I used in that photo. Um, I used my Makeup by Mario Master Matte's eyeshadow palette. However, I did want to mention a more affordable option. If you are wanting to recreate this look, you want similar tones, but you don't want to pay for the Makeup by Mario one. The Juvia's Place uh, Warrior 2 palette is perfect. All you need is this black, this kind of taupey gray, maybe a little bit of this charcoal gray, and that's really all you need for this look. So this is a really great palette from Ulta. So I started out with my Say Moi Visionary Makeup Crayon. This is in the shade Night. It's just a really rich, creamy black pencil. Any black pencil will work. This is a great one because it's more affordable, and these glide on beautifully, and they set down, they dry down, and they don't budge. So I'm gonna start with this all over my lash line. Just really saturate right on this lash line on the upper lid. Right, and then I'm gonna take a brush and just really smudge that into the lash line. It does not have to be perfect at all. Just wanna lay down that color and make this really rich and black. I'm also gonna take this pencil on my lower lash line all the way across and then take that same brush and just really smudge it in. And I'm also going to put that in the water line as well. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with an angled brush. And with no additional product, I'm just going to start creating my wing. And the good thing about doing your eyes first before the rest of your makeup is you can really just kind of clean up as you go. You have a little bit more freedom to, I guess, be a little more sloppy because it's really easy to clean it up when you don't have a ton of other makeup on. And another little trick, you can take your angled brush and just pick up a little bit of the pencil rather than drawing it on. If you just want some, you want a little bit more control, you can just pick it right up off of the pencil and then go in 
and draw using your brush. I'm also going to take my pencil and tight line my upper waterline. Alright, now I'm just going in. This is a Morphe M443 and I'm just kind of cleaning up the shape of this. It does not have to be perfect. We are going to smoke this out and really make it soft and diffused, but I just want the overall shape to be as close as possible. Alright, so that's what we've got going on now. We're going to dip into the palette and the shade that I use the most for this look is this one right here. It's called Matte 11 and it's this nice kind of charcoal brown. It's brown, but it's not. It's a very cool brown and almost has like a little bit of a gray undertone to it. So I'm going to take this on a Real Techniques base shadow brush. Pick that up. So I'm just going to start pushing this shade right on top of that black and then just start blending up through my crease. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just kind of run it on this outer wing just to soften that up as well. I'm gonna take that same shade and run that along my lower lash line. So I'm gonna dip into matte four. I'm gonna do a little bit of a concoction. I basically just want a nice neutral beigey brown. So I'm gonna dip into matte four matte eight and a little bit of matte six so just these three right here with this look you know just kind of create the shades that work best with your skin tone and just the level of intensity that you want if you don't want this to be like super super intense you can go a little lighter with your shades so that's why i like this palette because they're you can really get a nice variety of shades but you know just kind of customize this to your own preference all right, and then I'm going to take matte three and just run that right underneath my brow. I'm also going to take a little bit of that little beigey neutral concoction and I'm going to run that along my lower lash line as well. So basically everything I'm doing on the upper lash line, I'm also going to be doing on my lower lash line. All right, now I'm going to dip into the black in the palette, which is matte 12. And I'm just going to push this right on my lash line just to make this really black and saturated. And I'm going to do that on my lower lash line as well. Just to make sure the rim of my eye is really black. And then I'm going to take it out to the wing a little bit. And then what I did that day is I took a makeup wipe. You could just take a cotton round with like some micellar water or makeup remover, whatever you want to use. And I just put my finger in the wipe. Um, I'm quite messy when I do these looks. So I'm just going to go across the bottom and just clean up the very outer edge of the shadow. Because we did use a lot of shades to blend and diffuse and soften that black, I don't want to remove all of that. So I'm literally just taking the wipe right on the very outer portion of my eye just to clean up and make it look a little bit more just so the black shadow isn't dragged down too much but just kind of cleaning that up a bit so this is not a hundred percent by any means of how i did that look like i mentioned it, it's hard to recreate something when you're just kind of going with the flow and doing a look i honestly don't even remember half the shades i used um i feel like the look i did today is a little bit more on the warm side i feel like the look that i did in my instagram photo was definitely more of a cool toned like true gray black smoky eye but i like this as well it's pretty got a little bit of warmth kind of peeking through the crease and but this is the same premise that i did in that photo so i'm gonna do everything i just did on this eye on this eye and then we will finish up the makeup look. All right, so I went ahead and just took a little bit more of my foundation and just applied it on my under eye area where I removed it with the wipe. And I'm just blending that in and kind of using that to further help shape out my eye look. Um, but again, at this point, really doesn't have to be perfect. And I am gonna go back in and soften the lower lash line with eyeshadow and kind of blend that out after we apply powder. But I'm actually not gonna apply any concealer to my under eye. 
Um, I just feel like with a look like this, concealer is not necessary. It's so rich and dark and black under there. You really don't need concealer. But I am going to apply concealer, a little bit of concealer to some spots on my face. So I'm actually going to use this Dermablend Cover Care Full Coverage Concealer. I've been testing this out this past weekend and I'm not sure how I feel about it. So I'm going to use it today and I keep testing it out. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder. Today I'm using the 14E Aloe Prep and Set Powder. I'm gonna get a clean brush, and I'm just using a kind of fluffy blending brush. This one's from Lila B. Any fluffy blending brush will work. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that powder, and I'm going to start to blend right along the outer edge of my eyeshadow. Before setting my face, I want to use something a little more precise for right along the eye look. Alright, so now I'm going to take a larger brush and just set the rest of the face. Now I'm going to go back to the eyes and just finish up this lower lash line. Um, so I'm going to go into this, this, and this which is the three shades I was using to kind of blend through the crease. And I'm just gonna run this along that black. And that is it for the eyes. Um, it's not 100% like my photo. Like I said, this is definitely a little more warm toned. I think I, in my original post, I did not use this shade, but today I did use that shade. So that added a little bit more warmth to it, but I kind of like it kind of contrast the black really nicely. So let's go ahead and do the rest of the face and then I'll come back and do mascara. I'm gonna add some warmth to my face because I need some color. So I'm gonna take my Ilia Night Light Bronzing Powder in the shade Drawn In and I'm gonna take it on this Ilia Finishing, what is this, Finishing Powder Brush. Just bronze up the skin. All right, the Ilia bronzer is actually a little light for me so I'm gonna take the NYX matte bronzer in medium actually i've never tried this so Let's see how this goes that's a much better shade for me right now and then i'm gonna take a little bit of my 14e powder i want to kind of clean up my cheeks and let that sit and i'm gonna do a little blush um i'm gonna use my lawless Make Me Blush Velvet Blush in Vintage Love. I haven't used this one in a while. And I actually really love the formula of these blushes. And then for a little bit of highlighter, I'm gonna use my Minori Cream Highlighter in the shade Champagne. Really, really pretty formula, really pretty color too. And when working with cream highlighters, or really any creams, I always like to work off the back of my hand. Um, so I have a little more control, so I'm really going to prime my finger with that and then pat that in. Alright, so for the lip, I actually have a new lipstick that I really want to try and I think it's going to look good with this eye look. Um, in the Instagram post, I wore my PDL Lipstick and Naked, which is my favorite nude lipstick of all time. Actually, I don't know why I didn't include that in my favorites video that I just did. I feel like I just use it and then just don't think about it, but it is so, so good. Um, but I wanna try a new lipstick for today. So this is a brand called Madame Gabriella. I think they just started selling this brand at the detox market, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this is a new clean brand, and I think it's just lipsticks. I don't know. I need to look into this brand a little bit more. Um, but I really want to try these lipsticks. So this shade is Sydney at 8 a.m. The packaging is really cool, too. That's what the bullet looks like. And then you actually press this thing at the top. Lipstick pops out at the bottom. And you pull it out, and there she is. That is a little bit more pink than what I normally go for, but that is a really pretty color. 
very moisturizing, definitely a more, ooh, it's already kind of moving around, um, definitely more of a shiny lipstick, um, definitely has shine to it, doesn't have a scent, just smells like lipstick, um, but yeah, that's actually a really pretty color, I like that, it's a little more pinky than what I normally go for, but I just want to try it out. So I'm going to line my lips with the Persona Lip Liner in Almond. Great formula, and I really like this color. All right, guys, that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed. For those of you who requested me to recreate it, I hope that this was helpful. Um, and I think when it comes to a black smokey eye, really any smokey eye, but a really dark, rich smokey eye like this one, the less perfect, the better. Don't stress about every little thing being so perfect. I feel like with a look like this, you can kind of be a little bit more messy and a little bit more imperfect. It kind of just adds to the whole vibe. So don't worry about everything being so perfect. And if you are wanting a more precise look or you maybe have hard time, a harder time with smoky eyes, definitely do your eyes first. That way you can clean anything up. You can use makeup wipes or cotton swabs or whatever to really perfect any lines. And it just kind of makes the whole thing a lot easier but I hope you enjoyed both of my kids are back in school so uploading is going to be a lot more regular I know it's kind of been all over the place I've been trying to do it three days a week but it's just been kind of difficult so I will be able to upload more often I'm really excited I have some great ideas if y'all have any specific requests please leave them in the comments I will definitely read those but thank you so much for being with me today remember I love you God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. You are worth